all the package is very, very simple. You don't need smoke. You don't need sugar water spray. You really don't need much other than a hive tool for manipulation of frames and something to help uh, re remove the cork from the queen cage to replace with a candy plug. So a pair of uh, like a, a, a Gerber or a Leatherman is really helpful. Even a pocket knife is really helpful. So we'll put those aside. Now, the, uh, the key here with your hive tool, the trick is get the can into your hand like this. Now, you want to hold the can in your dominant hand. So for me, it's my right hand. I'll hold the can with my hand positioned against the package. And all I'm going to do is with a very sort of uh, a firm tap, I'm going to knock all the bees off of the queen cage and off of this food cage so that I can retrieve the queen cage and then uh, dump the bees into the colony. So a nice firm tap should take care of it. Remove the can. The cage is just going to be connected right here on a little metal dog ear. You can inspect your queen. I like to put her in my pocket to keep her warm. Occasionally there might be an attendant or two now what we'll do is we'll take the package and we're just going to tilt it upside down and dump it in. It really could not be easier. This process appears maybe a little bit aggressive with the bees, but the bees tend to recover quite quickly. And we're not talking about much death, if any, in doing this, okay? Now, bees have an incredible ability to latch on to surfaces using their little legs or tarsi. So you'll always have a few extra remaining in the package. You can simply take the package and set it down in front of the hive and uh, those bees will migrate in very shortly. We'll take and we'll uh, just sort of slowly replace the frames that we took out earlier. You wanna go slow, being really, really careful not to crush any bees in the process. All right. The frames are in. We'll use our tool to, or, or the, the Leatherman actually. We'll use the Leatherman to remove the cork on the queen cage with a stale marshmallow. This will reduce the time, or sorry, rather increase the time it takes for the workers to remove her through chewing out this uh, candy plug. So using your Leatherman, of course mine slid in. Now it's really important that before you remove this cork, that you make sure that the queen is not attached to the cork. So as soon as you remove the cork, you wanna stick your finger over it and uh, she's not going to sting you, even if you are wearing no gloves at all. This queen's not going to sting you. She's capable, but not likely to sting. Take your stale marshmallow and put that right there so that it's flush in the, this channel. Now, this metal dog ear is helpful if you don't have a comb foundation to be able to uh, stick the, the cage to. So what you would do with this uh, piece of metal here, this little metal ear, Make a little bit of a gap in the middle of the brood chamber. You can take the queen cage, and I like to have it positioned so that the screen is facing down. But if you wanna hang the cage, you can do so. Just be very, very aware that you, you don't want to block this screen from the, uh, uh, the bees being able to feed her and care for her while they're getting acclimated, okay? So you can, you can put it in with the screen facing forward or backward, that's fine. And then you would just use your dog ear to kind of drape over the side like this. Super easy to do. If you have a, a pin, a push pin or something, that's also helpful. Now, all you're gonna do is push these uh, frames close together so that she's affixed there on, between those frames. You do not want her dropping down into the pile of bees. Uh, if she does that, you're, you're gonna wanna remove those frames and retrieve her. So at this point, the package is installed. All we're gonna do now is take our inner cover, 
slowly replace it with uh, taking caution not to crush any bees in the process and put our lid on and that package is successfully installed in that colony. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope that it helps you uh, sort of understand the process, removes any anxiety, and maybe gives you a little bit more confidence in, uh, in how you go through this process. Thanks so much for watching.